Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to Ocean of Ducks, episode 171. I'm your host, Dr. Sheep. Joe, my co-host, I'm Phil. Mm -hmm. Wow. It, it's amazing how <laughs> you go from laughing and giggling and like, oh, to... Yeah, yeah, as soon as the camera turns on. I I, I can't even do it that fast because I'm laughing. <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. <laughs> what in the world? So how are you? I'm doing just fine. You? I'm fine. <laughs> it worked out great last week because we we finished. I finished editing the podcast. Third, you really did put 30 seconds on the time. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We're gonna wrap this thing up quick. I'd like to thank y'all for watching. No. Like, comment, and subscribe, as always. <laughs> yes, do like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. <laughs> this is not it. That is it. Fine. Half hour. Oh, my gosh. Ah, yes. Otherwise, because... we'll go on for like an hour and a half. Oh, and then that's we'll never, true. We'll never get to watch anything. I, I, I don't blame you. I always bitch We have it. movies to watch, TV shows to get through, and they, we never do because it's like we spend... What are we even doing now? For move. Speaking of that, do we finish Jurassic Park, Jurassic World three? Oh, do we finish? Yeah, that? we did. We did. Yeah. So Loki. Uh, oh, I suppose we could watch Loki. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I don't know if you have anything entertaining that you'd see on YouTube or anything. There was a Lions Tech Tip video I want to see really bad. Hmm. But uh, we we I think I think you'll get a kick out of it too. It's one of those videos where like they do something kind of just like ridiculous and and you're just like what you can do that now with technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. But uh, no, I what was what was I gonna say? No, we uh after Loki, I think by that point, I think. Don't quote me on this. I think uh, Invincible should be done. Yeah. They just started uploading more episodes. Yeah, I just saw the latest one yesterday. Was yeah. it number five? That they took five months to release? Yeah, and then uh, it'll be just in time to probably restart the boys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we can get ready for season four. <laughs> uh, although that's probably not till next year, if anything. Maybe yeah. November of this Man, year. Man, they, so. they could have ended it. They, they had a great opportunity. I guess they just wanted to keep it going. I don't know. It makes too much money. I, w well, that's the thing. Whenever they try to force it to keep going, it doesn't do as well. Well, Ron, what the, they didn't, no, oh. Rondo and I were talking. Sometimes. He's thinking... That they'll probably get another season or two spoilers if you haven't seen the end of season three, uh, out of Butcher. They'll find a way to keep it going. Yeah, well, yeah, I think they'll get one or two more seasons out of Billy. Because it's like they're they're not gonna kill off Billy and Butcher, with, uh, with, at the beginning of the season. Like I, like I could see them killing off a main character. But not like that early in a in a in a new season. Like it'd be at the end of the at the end of the series. Well, yeah. So because they're that's just like, that's, that's, that's kind of like the whole thing with like Jesse Pinkman, you know, from uh, Breaking Bad. They wanted to kill him off in episode one of Breaking Bad, but they saw like the reviews, like people like really enjoyed it. Like, man, maybe we should just make him a main character. He, I, I still find that it's crazy. And so then they made him a main character, and then it's like, well, we can't kill him off now. You have to wait till the very, very, very end. If they you still don't to. kill him off. They well, never they kill him well, off. Well, they killed Walter off. Yeah, which was their plan originally. I mean, you can't. He's gonna die. He but you cancer. can't. But like, you can't kill him off. Like, you know, episode four with two more seasons to go. It the, it will not be as good. No. Well, anyways, Rondo and I, he he. Because we've already seen cases that was like two and a half men. You know, they killed off Charlie. And then we don't it, talk about that. It was no, it wasn't the same. <laughs> the series ends when Charlie leaves. It wasn't the same. <laughs> the, oh well, part of the problem is they started making too many gay jokes about Alan, and it just got out of hand. And it was just like, can we please <laughs> stop? Like, great, we get it. 
Alan's kind of gay, all right? Yeah. You can, but the, but it was every five seconds. It was just like, shut up. We do not <laughs> care. Can we make something else, please? And I mean, but that was the thing. Like the the, the gay jokes did, about Alan did this mm-hmm. as the show went on. Now, granted, by the end of the show, they were like in a sort of s- s- not really gay relationship. <laughs> yeah. Where he just lived in his house. <laughs> yeah. He just lived in his house. <laughs> he was just there. He's, he's just like Al- Alan from Barbie. He's just there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was an there Alan was and an Barbie. Alan, Alan and Barbie. He's just kind of just there. And that <laughs> Alan was just like the... Was it? I think we don't a, talk about him. I'm pretty sure there was a Ken that was played by the actor that played Alan. I think. So we we don't talk. He, he's just there. Yeah, I remember Alan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's I remember rough. watching the reviews. Is like, oh yeah, and then we come to freaking Alan. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> Moving on from Moving Alan. on. <laughs> oh man. So. No, but the the uh, no back the movie theater comment though you your seat was burning you yeah <laughs> my ass is on fire maybe and maybe. it was not from like hot sauce I <laughs> like it normally is <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was burning on the outside <laughs> oh man usually my colon's on fire <laughs> ah what a, well, what a downgrade. <laughs> Oh man, what a downgrade in pain. <laughs> Colon pain versus Colon pain versus skin pain. Skin pain. Mm. <laughs> I can't they they have to I see I didn't know you could adjust it. I guess I was I just thought the button. Pretty sure you can. Well, it was dark in the theater when we sat down, oh, man, you know, cuz the commercials were started and then so I saw the buttons. I thought those were just for the seat. Did you get a dune usi? A what? A dune usi? Dune Usi? <laughs> Did you get the collective bucket? The collector bucket? Yeah. No? Oh. What? There's a collector bucket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everybody calls it the Dune Usi because it looks like a pocket pussy. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't type in Dune Usi, just type in Dune Collector Bucket. <laughs> oh, right. I'm kind of scared. That thing? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I have seen those memes. <laughs> I did not get them. No. This is the... Okay, I wasn't sure. The Dune scene. As, as people are referring to it as. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sure if we keep scrolling, we're going to see some things we no, probably yeah, yeah. don't you know, want to so see. Listen, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the Dune Usi. So you didn't get one? No, I got a water cup. <laughs> Most unfortunate. You got a water cup and a bag of popcorn. How much is a water cup? Water cups are free. Anything? To, you can get something free in a movie theater? Yeah, you ask for a water cup and I give you like a little Dixie cup. Bruh! <laughs> but with a big bucket of popcorn, how is that supposed to... Well, what I do is I, I chug like two of those and then I and then my third one is the one I take to the theater. And and I just basically when you're when you're eating popcorn, I go until I have to take a drink. I take a little sip, and it's just enough to just just to satisfy. And then you still have a whole bunch. And then by the time you get to the end of the popcorn, usually I have like a quarter of it left and to chug. And it's like, ooh, that was refreshing. <laughs> so that's like one of the things about a movie is like it's like it's snack management, right? Hmm. Cause like you, cause you don't really know how. I mean, I guess depending on the movie, like if you go- Google it ahead of time, you know how long the movie's gonna be. Yeah. And so you can gauge. Okay, I've been in the movie theater this long, so there's this amount of time left in the movie. I have this amount of popcorn left. Yeah. I mean. Oh, you're not like me that would sit there and just like gauge the amount of popcorn. <laughs> that they oh, have no, in their no, no, no. Uh, I'm the type of person, have? I have actually finished my, like, 
over half of my popcorn. Oh, I know. During the commercials. Oh, I know. I sit next to you and Kyle. You two just... <laughs> and, and I'm and like... The movie hasn't even started. We're getting through the commercials, and like I'm halfway through my popcorn. I've taken like two <laughs> bites, and I look over, and I'm like... <laughs> There's no... It's like, you're going to eat all your popcorn before the movie starts. Yeah. <laughs> there... Folks, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, movie theater snack eater are you? Do you? I have also done it where I'd eat like I go until I eat like half of it, and then I just set it on the floor and just ignore it till like at least halfway through the movie. We're like, oh yeah, I had popcorn. Of course, then you might kick it and <laughs> <laughs> like shit. Shh. <laughs> well that you know you always see after people you know you always see the videos I don't you don't but I you always see videos of people going to clean up movie theaters after a movie yeah. and just the sheer amount of popcorn and soda <laughs> on the ground is insane like I at, you could probably have like several larges filled up oh yeah with popcorn and people in the, the comments are just like how how I how? mean they, they watch it like the like the pirates from Spongebob like Rrr! Yeah, well, I mean, I get it. You know, if this is after a little kid movie, I get it. You know, the, you know, I can't expect a little kid to not spill their popcorn. <laughs> Man, I want to see that though. Just see someone just take a large and just go. Just it happened to me. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Actually, it happened. I shouldn't laugh. It happened to my dad. He got pissed because. Uh, so remember those little like kid trays? How it was like a cardboard. Box, I think they had like a little Yeah, and the biggest ripoff ever, yes. Yeah, so you had like popcorn and then your drink. Well, my dad got, he got two of those and then he got a, a large and then a drink or whatever for for my mom, you know, and then a big popcorn. And uh, my mom took me and my brother to the theater. She's like, oh, it's just right over here. We'll, we'll, we'll go find our seats. You know, dad will wait in line for popcorn. Okay, whatever. And then uh, we're sitting there, and then it's like, oh, look, there he comes with the popcorn. As he comes around the corner and just (laughs) drops it all. Oh, Drops it all. Uh, I think the drinks are fine because they had, like, lids over them, you know? Right. But, like, yeah. There goes 50 bucks. Uh, Well, no, they they refilled it for him because it's like he was just in line. Um. Mm. And so he brought. They the didn't cardboard. expect him to like. Oh, or, so there's there's the play. He, there's, you dump it all out and then in like a bucket. <laughs> but so, yeah, so no, you no, bring, they, they so were they, they were nice and they refunded it and then he had me and my brother leave to go help him carry it back to to. This is our, he he, this, he was like no we're uh, if you want popcorn. You're going back to the stands. This is our play for next winter. It only works in the winter unless you want to wear a jacket in the summer, which pass. But or you just have a woman with you who has a purse, oh. and she pulls out like a big gallon size. Where are bag. we gonna get women? Well, you know, <laughs> I was just suggesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's. Or no, I have the idea. You, you Ziploc bags. You bring a gallon Ziploc. Oh bag no, no, no! In I was your talking. Pocket, I pull was. It, Pull it out, dump the popcorn in it, shove it under the seat, go back and get more. No, so I, was, drop it. I was talking about a paper, one of the paper sacks that you use to get groceries in. Oh, you can do that too. I mean, the paper sack. Because that way you can dump the entire thing of your yeah. extra large and then popcorn you, and then in. you say, Sorry, I hate to do this to you, but no, no, actually it doesn't even matter. I think the larger they, they refill anyways. At the end of the movie, I think, because I know we have done it before, where, like, after the movie went over, you could take your large back and fill it up again. So then we had popcorn for the road home. We're going to we, we're gonna have so much popcorn. <laughs> yeah, so you take that, so dump we just, it out, so and say, basically, I hate to do this to you, I drop my popcorn, and then go back and get another. I dropped it again. <laughs> I dropped it again. And they're like, oh, we're going to have to go clean this up, and they go to the movie theater, and it's just like, I kind of want to try. Where's this. the popcorn? <laughs> I kind of want to try this, but I feel like You're I'm. In, sitting there with but a I feel like I'm incriminating bag. myself. <laughs> Who's right, gonna what? watch this? <laughs> That's it, realistically the only people that watch this is are are like my coworker, as like one of my old coworkers, and like a yeah, few select randos. You just say you dropped randos. it. Bring out a, a 
<laughs> Walmart bag, dump it in there. Well, I'll still use like a paper sack. To be, yeah. It's a plastic one. A paper I mean, sack. plastic one would work because then you could like somehow get it into your pocket, especially in the summer I'm wearing cargo shorts. But well, That's what I'm saying. You know, I feel like if you just had just a normal grocery bag and just a little tiny little ball, step in your pocket. Or, or actually, no, you'd probably be best to fold it up nicely so that way it doesn't look suspicious in your pocket. They don't pay attention. No. I literally, I, <laughs> I snuck crap into the movie theater so many times. I think I snuck a bottle of Pepsi into the movie theater one time. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it was back in high school. So my parents. Uh, well, I remember my mom, She when we were little, uh, I, we, they, we went to the movie and uh, they didn't want to, I think, I, I don't remember if we were running late or if they still want to spend money on the popcorn. Uh, probably a combination of both. But then we cooked, we had microwave bag popcorn. Mom dumped it in Ziploc bags and then went into the theater with like her little backpack and uh, brought our popcorn and then had like, we had like, you know, cans of pop too. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And, to so, be, and so to we're just sitting there and just. <laughs> 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 Like, no, don't worry. I bought this from the stands. They don't sell canned. Anything. You can't even like. I don't think they even sell canned beers. So you could, I don't, don't know, worry. I bought this at the concession stand. Why wouldn't you buy a bottle? Because then. You'd... <laughs> Any, no, they so, didn't have, we didn't have bottles. We had like you know the big twelve pack cans. Right. No. So the create. So these bottles of Pepsi though. So these bottles of Pepsi, I think for. They were so they were like two or three years old. Yeah. There's nobody in our household after my mom passed. Nobody ate nobody drank Pepsi. So they just sat in there until it expired. Oh yeah. But yeah. I was just but you know, senior year of high school me was just like, I'm gonna finally finish these Pepsis. You know. So uh, I remember I brought one to a football game. It was flat? It wasn't flat. It just tasted wrong. <laughs> Who tasted wrong? I don't remember what was something was just wrong about it. <laughs> so when I went to the movie, so then I had to, I went to a movie that fall. You but, grabbed another one. Yep, I grabbed the, yep, the. I think that was the last one. I took yeah. it and I'm like, yep, this is not enjoyable. That and like a thing of fruit snacks, I think probably. Hmm. Man, no. So one of the things I did right before I stopped, right before I gave up sweets. I got into uh, the the cookie dough bites that you can get at the movie theater. Oh yeah, and they're great. They're they are what they taste awesome. They are, <laughs> however, they are not the the snack for a movie theater because all your they, hands the, get all no no they get put they're put in a box. Okay, and they like to stick to each other. And you trying, you're trying to get like just a few out. You don't want a bunch, so you're <laughs> like this, trying to get them out. And yeah, it does. <laughs> so you're like, <laughs> it's the worst. It was actually the worst. And I'm like, yeah, this is not. <laughs> this is these are great well, yeah, and all, but why, they're you know, not you know, the movie theater snack. <laughs> well, yeah, can you imagine me going to the movie theater like a bag of chips? You <laughs> mean you and popcorn already? <laughs> no, I'm usually quiet, quieter with popcorn. Well, but no chips. That's like, but like so. Then also, uh, the, the I always when I would open a bag, open my bag of uh, fruit snacks because mm -hmm. I always I'd get lemonade, yeah, popcorn, fruit snacks. That's basically yeah. what I get now. The problem with the fruit snacks is when you go to open it. You're, you know, you're crinkling yeah, the, yeah. The, the foil, and you're just like, wow, this is so damn loud. Yeah. And so, yeah, that that is the woes of the movie theater. But uh, we should probably discuss one other thing. That way there are two segments to this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm just blanking. There was something I was going to talk about. Mm -hmm.